Speed cubers, you are in for a treat. Today, we just have a bunch of speed cubes and whatever this is. For the casual cubers out there, I'll add this just for the thumbnail to make it more appealing. Just kidding, that would be clickbait. I need to lube my banana. This is not just any speed cube. This is a GAN cube. This is a smart cube. And yes, this is my first time on this channel actually showing a smart cube. Why I have not done this earlier, I have no good explanation other than I am scared of technology. All right, my first... Wait, I've had many smart cubes. It's doing something. It's sending my location to GAN in case I say anything bad about this cube. Before we find out what's so smart about this thing, let's just try it out as a cube. Because there's no point having a smart cube if you can't at least do some good practice on it. This feels really loose, but it also feels really satisfying. We have the GAN I Carry user manual. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, hope you can read Chinese. Download and install app CubeStation. Let's do another solve. I, I'm not sure if I like this cube. It's a really strange feeling, and if this cube isn't that good, then there's no point practicing on it, right? Even with all this technology. Wow. I really am struggling turning on this. It really took that many solves just to get a solve where I made a giant mistake, but it's still okay. 7.4 turns per second, 61 moves, fluency index 85. I wonder what it means for it to be 100. Maybe it means I don't pause. PLL took forever, 3.14. That's, that's pi rounded. Whoa, 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 6.6 .6 TPS. You know it's bad when your PLL has worse turns per second than your F2L. So I have a time and percentage breakdown of every single part of the solve, which definitely gives me hints as to where I should improve. Just from experience, the numbers I have in my head for how long each step should take in your solve is about cross 10%, F2L 55%, OLL 15%, and PLL 20%. But the number for cross would be higher on stack mat timer and lower on a Bluetooth cube. I want to do a solve where I make no mistakes, so I can actually know if what I think in my head of these percentages is actually correct. The cross was only 5%, uh, that's probably just a smart cube thing because I start right away, and uh, F2L is 53%, that's about correct, uh, OLL 15, about correct, and PLL 25. Uh, I did get an F perm, so I guess that makes sense. It's a hard algorithm. What is square? Okay, I don't know what I expected. Let's check out algorithm. Okay, what's going on here? That's not the side. Oh, we're turning like this. Oh, nice. It doesn't even matter what I have on the cube. All you have to do is look at the screen and just follow along there. Thank you, thank you. Competition. Okay, multiplayer. I've entered a room. Nobody's room was starting, so I've just made my own. I'm just chilling as XY Cuber123. Well, the racing is not that cool in my opinion. Even if you have someone who lives far from you that you wanna race, you can just get on a call and tell each other what your times were. So I think the main thing with a smart cube is gonna be telling you your stats. And currently there are many smart cubes that exist. I am so late to this party, but just keep in mind there are a lot and they can all give you your stats. So I'm just gonna say if this cube is good or not. So not the, the functionality of connecting to anything, but just the turning itself. If I had to use this one as my training cube, to give me the stats, then how good is it? Because it's useless if I use a cube that isn't good and it tells me stats. I'm like, I don't wanna know those stats. I don't care. That's not how I usually do on my main cube. This cube is extremely flimsy. I, I struggle so much to, to do good turns on this. And if you have used a non-magnetic GAN cube and liked it before, then I guess you might like this, but that, that's just exactly how this feels like. 
and the piece design is very strange. Gan cubes don't normally look like this. They probably had to change the design in order for this core to fit, and this is just where the electronics would go. But it's 2023, and we know that ball cores can make good cubes, so there is no excuse for this. Next up, we got these three. Shiny Boy is the Moyu Worm V9. Even though it's not the ninth version of the worm. It might be the ninth version of the Waylong, but who's counting at this point? It already feels weird holding this. Let's do some turns. Wow. Oh, this is so fast. This is incredibly fast, but like in a really good way. The turns are so effortless, but I don't feel like I overshoot. Wow, this feels like a pretty great cube. The YS3M was definitely a more stable cube, and this one, this one feels a lot more flexible, which is what I expect out of their worm cubes. As always, whatever time I get on this first salt is how good this cube is. Ah! Because it's so fast, we definitely need a very light turning style to turn this. Like I'm putting in very little effort as I do these turns. If you like putting in more efforts, then controlling this cube is gonna be very hard. Here's the maglev version, two magnets repelling instead of springs. Oh yes, purple internals. Not as much as before, it's missing some, but this still looks nice. Now I don't see what there is to gain from maglev here because that's gonna make it faster, but it was already so fast. Yeah, this, Oh, it's it definitely feels even faster, maybe even less controllable. I don't know if I felt a cube faster than this one. I often want to turn to kind of like what I feel like is the potential of the cube's turning speed, but here I have to really slow it down because otherwise it, it just starts doing stuff on its own. So if I try to go at maximum speed, oh no. Yeah, definitely don't, do, do not do that. This cube is definitely not for me. Even when I do what I feel like is light turning, it's light turning for me, but for this cube it's not. I still lose control all the time. All right, I was wrong. This cube is good. No, but the only way I could probably use this thing consistently is if I put in enough of a slower lube to keep this thing slow because it's way too easy to lose control. I'll just flick a layer and it'll do that. Okay, that proves my point. There's another version of the Worm 9. It is the ball core. Oh, is this, is this UV coating? Oh, I love that. Look how shiny it is. This is also extremely fast, but I'm not sure if it's quite as fast. Mm. It's very, very similar. I noticed with the YS3M, when they had the ball core, it was actually a slower cube. And I'm not sure if it's because of the ball core or not, because here, there's the ball core. It has magnets on the inside. I, I don't know how many or where they're located exactly, but all of the corners and edge pieces have magnets on their feet so that they can attract whatever magnets are in the ball core. This allows the cube to feel a lot more stable. And I don't know if it's friction between these or if it's the magnets that are causing this cube to be a little bit slower. At least that's how it felt in the YS3M, but in this one, it's kind of similar. Also, I have a bias for any cube with the UV coating. I I'm actually surprised it took so long for other cube companies to start doing this because GAN has been making cubes with UV coating for a while. And I'm sure there are a lot of people who have bought GAN cubes just for this. Okay, maybe not just for this, but they will spend extra for this. I mean, I would spend extra for this. Come on, it feels great. And it looks amazing. It does feel about equally fast as before. If anything, it's slightly slower, but it's it, it feels about the same. So uh, I'm just trying to see if I can still control this just fine, uh, because the issue with being this fast is the control, but the ball core should provide more control. So uh, it does feel slightly more stable, but wait, I'm not exactly sure. Oh yeah, that's a completely different feeling. There's no way this is just in my head. This feels a lot flimsier than Maglev. It is also lighter if you like that, but this ball core is a little heavier. I think I like it more like this and it turns really well. 
Hmm, I'm just doing some scrambling on this and it, it's starting to feel a little bit strange. I'm a lot less confident in my turning. Yes, yes, this is better. Also, not gonna lie, I'm kind of proud of that solve. That was that was really smooth. It even ended in a V perm. Oh, that was a smooth V perm. So no matter who you are, these cubes will be really, really good. Of course, they are flagship Moyu cubes and they've pretty much never disappointed. But these are going to be more expensive than the YS3M line, which is, I guess, just a cheaper version of this. And I think these cubes favor faster solvers who have better control over their turning because of course, when it turns this fast, you need your fingers to be very accurate. And the trade-off of course, is you can do your Alex extremely fast if you're not messing up. If you don't have that level of confidence in your turning ability, then this, it will still be good for you, but it won't be the best cube. Next up, we have a picture cube. Recently, I went to Speed Cube Shop in Vegas. They've moved away from Bakersfield and wow, this, oh, this looks so nice. It's not just stickers. It's actually printed all the way on the cube. So it makes a really nice picture. YouTube demonetization team, I swear this video is not about gambling. Oh, I thought this would be Speed Cube Shop related. No, it's, it's just straight up a Vegas cube. Oh, wow. You hear that? Easy, smooth turning. Professional quality, what, okay, okay. It's professional quality in the fact that it looks amazing. But let's be honest, this is not a speed cube. What year are we in? You can get like $3 cubes better than this. But to be fair, to be fair to the reverse corner cutting, the non-existent reverse corner cutting on this thing, they needed the pieces to be fully square. So I get it, I get it, okay? You have to make trade-offs in order to get it to look this good. Because with modern cubes, you have all these holes all over the place and that does help it with corner cutting, but that's not what we want here. Ugh, friction. We're gonna get some Martian lube in here just because I have to. There's no way I'm using this dry. And to work in the lube, let's start scrambling it. Oh, I just realized every side has a different color. So this doesn't even present the typical challenge of a picture cube where it feels like you're forming a puzzle. In this case, I can just look at the colors. I mean, the only difference with the regular three x three is that this is gonna have rotatable centers. But other than that, this is not gonna be that different. Uh, the number of times I'm running into reverse corner cutting issues. I actually used to turn better on cubes like this because I cubed so long ago, yes, I am so old, that it was before corner cutting existed. So I would often not have to deal with this because my fingers, my muscle memory was just good enough at as soon as I recognized that, I would just be able to fix it. And now I no longer have that muscle memory. Ugh, I'm such a weakling. All right, let's try to solve this thing. Ooh, the Vegas is making a little bit of progress on its own. So I think I will start with the blue cross or the Vegas cross. I don't really want to inspect. Let's just start. So we have three, two cross pieces. Uh, here's another cross piece and that lines up correctly already. How about this one? Nope, turn it, turn it, turn it. There we go. And this one over here, uh, it probably goes this way. Yeah, there we go. And I need the final cross piece right here. Blue edge is that one. It lines up. Wow, I'm getting pretty lucky here, but I'm also just narrating everything and not trying to be fast. So this is yellow orange, yellow orange. So uh, the edge was already solved. So we're just gonna keyhole this into here. And let's see, this is yellow red yellow, red. Okay. And it goes yellow, red. Oh, it's so weird because there's so many colors everywhere. That's not just the background colors of each side. So this one is white orange and I need the other white orange piece. This is just a twisted corner. What do we have on top? Okay. Uh, OLL. I'm just looking at green here. And clearly I've done it wrong. So let's do it like this. Oh no. And what do we have? We have an A perm. Oh, the top just solved itself. I got lucky with the centers so many times. 
I gotta say, this is the best looking picture cube I have ever seen. And yes, it sacrifices the turning, but what, are you speed solving picture cubes now? No, you're not. This is mainly for display and just a fun thing to turn once in a while. So I'm gonna be looking at this a lot and blaming my future gambling addiction on this. Speed Cube Shop also sent me this thing. Uh, speed Cube Shop. Oh, this is a really cool design. It's even like a little bit soft. Like I, I can't tell what exactly this is made of, but uh, it feels, oh, I, I didn't even say what this is. This is a cube stand, <laughs> uh, like that. Yeah, and it just, it just goes like that. In my opinion, it looks way better than these triangle stands, but not like the triangle stands are bad, just that this looks really professional. So if you want one in your office or for display, I think this is the way to go. I can use this thing to display my greatest accomplishment. This cube, you guys are gonna love this. In my last unboxing, I got this cube. This is the Shengshou Yufeng, or as I like to call it, my Yufeng Du. This was a crazy cube. If you just have it like slightly away from 45 degrees, it just always snaps into place. It's like a ghost. I like to imagine it's Yu Sheng Du's gentle hand coming to caress the cube to finish my turns for me. And I love this cube just for that. It's, it's not a, an amazing cube. It turns really, really weird. But now they have a second version. Guys, this is the Shangshou Yu Feng 2. It's the Yu Feng 2. This is a dream come true. Before I even get into turning, let's look at the magnets. Oh, it's not crazy. No, 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 it's still kind of crazy. Whoa. Yep, but let's give this a fair shot. Let's try it out. Hmm, it feels really blocky, the corner cutting. Hang on, the corner cutting doesn't feel that good. I guess they decided who needs corner cutting if it's always gonna snap perfectly into place. Is there any point in testing reverse corner cutting? Okay, so I need to move it here, hold it, pull down, and then let go, and then see if it can corner cut. You know what, I'm just not gonna bother. Let's just do some turns. Yeah, so it, it still, it, it just feels like there's a lot to corner cut. I can't turn it at my maximum speed. That is definitely a problem. I guess the question is, does it feel better than the Yufeng 1? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. This is, oh, what is even going on with this? As long as I have fun, then this is a good cube. So the cube isn't that great, but it definitely is funny. Next up, we have the YJ MGC Evo 2. So we had the YJ MGC, and then we had the MGC V2, and then the MGC Evo. You know, it's nice when they rebrand so that they don't have to have the numbers anymore. But then now we have Evo 3x3 2. Like, it doesn't say Evo 2 anywhere. It's, where does it, and it's an II as well. Hope you can read Roman. You can't get away with this. That's gotta be the weirdest center cap of all time. Why? That's just ugly. All right, let's see if the cube can speak for itself. So the MGC Evo was a good cube for sure. It, it wasn't like amazing or anything, but it definitely had its unique feel and was pretty good. That unique sound that it has, it feels kind of soft and extremely satisfying to turn, but that doesn't matter if the performance isn't good Okay, corner cutting's fine. Okay, okay. If I'm not messing up on V perms, then I try my crazy G perm that I can only ever do on my main cube. The slice moves seem a little off. You know what, if I got used to this thing, it probably would not be bad. It sucks. All right, this cube's best quality is that it feels so satisfying to turn and it's pretty quiet. And quietness, I think, is a very good trait just because there's, a, I guess, according to the comments, there's a big market for that. Uh, there is that little click 
So it's not as quiet as it could be, I guess. I'm not sure what that click is coming from, but as I'm turning, it does feel a little bit flimsy and the corner cutting isn't all there in the solves. Like it can be pretty tough to do some of the harder corner cuts. And I feel like that's what messes me up. And sometimes I'll just be doing an algorithm and one thing goes wrong, then another thing goes wrong because I couldn't corner cut the last thing. But when I'm doing well, it feels amazing. So mainly the feel is good, but the performance is average. The Worm 9 Balcor, oh, that's such a weird name. It's pretty good and I'm going to try and find the right setting for me and let you guys know how I feel about it in the future. And I'm still testing the YS3M, so I'll let you guys know about that one in the future as well. But most of all, I can't wait for every cube to have UV coating.